Most people in America are looking for how to make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. And because I was doing that, I was saying that for the longest time as one of my mantras that the Lord gifted me in intellectual property. But the thing that you're lying to yourself about is that you think you have the right to take my words and utilize them in your church or in your business or in your marketing work or in your free time with your family and friends. And I'm not giving you that lawful consent. I'm saying if you've learned from me, marvelous, then quote me. You see, in the world of writing, in the world of copywritten word, we have to write down where we get things. It's called citing a source. So you might have just lied to yourself about what you're allowed to do. For example, there's a Burger King in this neighborhood which I knew last year and I really liked the manager there when she was there. But she made this marvelous little kind of board in the Burger King wall that was sort of a happy thoughts, positive sort of quotation wall and my only issue was it even though I knew a lot of the quotes from before being there is that she didn't cite the source and that was immoral because people really need to know who some of the famous people are across America around the world who say these things and they're famous enough quotes that we know they're famous but still she should have quoted who wrote them who said them who stated them where they were stated in other words when was it stated was it in a speech somewhere was it a Nelson Mandela uh, sort of speech or where did it come from did it come from a past president and there's a definite book in my possession at least there should be in my property in my in my security of storage that is a book of american president's quotes and i would never take one of those quotes and say it's mine i wouldn't claim it is now if i took a quote and i sort of adapted it and i knew that i adapted it then i would have said this is my adaptation of probably a famous quote that you've heard of before and then i would have said my quote but if I didn't realize that I'd adapt in it, I might say something humbling, just like, this is something that I say, and I can't say exactly where it came from in my mind or how it came about, because maybe you don't have a story that makes it that way.